first up. Yeah, she didn't even want to come up. I was like, you better. That's a hard game, in case you can tell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up, join me in welcoming the amazing Tim Reader. I want to thank you all for being here and for Paul and Ashton to come back. This has been a lot of fun the last time I was here. Was a good time. It's always nice to have a bunch of people that are here to have a good time and friendly faces. And uh, I always have written songs ever since I was little, and it's always been kind of an oddity why I have a co worker who said, Is everything a song to you? <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Um, my mom went to open house. <coughs> When I was in elementary school, she pulled my mom aside, and the teacher said, uh, Mrs. Reader, Timothy's not like the other children. <laughs> I guess that was a good thing. Anyway, I've always written songs. Uh, my friend Laura Thatcher, years ago, you know Laura? Yeah. Laura is great. Anyway, we had a little thing, get, get to know each other in the cast, and everybody went around, and we all did something that was, there was something unique that we could all do. And uh, I think I burped the alphabet or something, and, but Laura did the Greek alphabet. It's really cool. She had to learn the Greek alphabet in order to join a sorority. So she taught it to me. I said, would you please teach me the Greek alphabet? So I thought, this has got to be a song. <laughs> if you want to meet a girl from a sorority, you better make this song your next priority. Take the time. It may take a week. Because the chicks dig guys who know they're Greek. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Psi, Oma, Kappa, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Epsilon, Chi, Psi, Phi, Omega. If the words sound Greek and funny to your ears, a little bit alphabet -y. It's the big up line that works every time. Come on, boys, get ready. One breath. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Nu, Nu, Psi, Oma, Ta, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Epsilon, Chi, Psi, Pi, Omega. <laughs> okay, now you guys, everybody. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Omega. Okay. I know you got the Alpha, Beta part. They used to be a grocery store, I get it. Um, I'm fortunate enough to uh, work with a lot of talented people. Uh, I'm blessed to, to surround myself with people like Dan Franklin and Paul Carganilla, and uh, Jared Scott and Swemi Gonzalez, and so many people. Uh, it really makes you look good when you surround yourself with people like that. Uh, but we have a lot of inside jokes and we're pretty merciless with each other, and we have this one, <laughs> so true. Anyway, uh, this one little inside joke we have is when someone uh, plays something that's kind of grandstandy or show off -y, we always go, oh, dig me. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a negative thing, but uh, it's kind of a snarky thing to say. Anyway, I made up a song called Dig Me. It's sort of, sort of like life imitating art, mocking art imitating life. Sort of ironic and hypocritical at the same time. You'll see, you'll see. Those songs that have too many chords in them Like someone bragging all the places that they've been Why just last night I was eating With the king and queen of Sweden They think that they're the only ones who play guitar Dig me, 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 dig me
Now, the Dig Me song should probably be always followed by the Dig Me Bow. Are you familiar with the Dig Me Bow? I actually saw a performer do this. Uh, it starts with a general acknowledgement of your praise. And it's followed by the Sugar Bowl Mussolini Swivel. And then the mock gracious uh, acknowledgement. <laughs> so you won't be expected to have sustained applause through my dig me bow. Um, I'm going to do a song right now that uh, I just wrote a couple weeks ago. It's uh, I don't know if you travel a lot, but one of the most obnoxious things that you have to endure is changing planes in Atlanta. Anybody ever change planes oh, in Atlanta? It's, uh, it's annoying and it's, uh, it's just bothersome for so many reasons. And I've always felt this way and I watched uh, an episode of West Wing where Josh Lyman uh, was trying to get a plane home to see his mother for Christmas and he waited to the last minute, of course. And uh, his assistant got him tickets. She said, I got you tickets. He says, yes, thank you, Donna. And uh, she says, but you have to change planes in Atlanta. And his face went. It was an Academy Award winning performance. Anyway, I thought, you know what, that needs to be a song. Don't make me change planes in Atlanta. <laughs> the lady was kind, she put me on hold. She was young and sweet, she sounded 20 years old. But she broke my heart the minute I was told I'd have to change planes in Atlanta. Part two, you can sing if you want. Pretty easy. It's kind of got a calypso feel. You can almost hear Harry Belafonte sing the next little bit. I love Georgia just the same as you. Peach pie, soul food, and barbecue. But there's one thing that I'd rather not do. That's to change planes in love. Sing with me, Mom. Here we go. I'll know that my visa has been denied if I have to change planes and weather. Here we go. I would probably suspect if given the choice, you will probably elect. Pay the extra and fly direct. Don't make them make you change planes in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm going to do a song that I wrote uh, a while back. These, these songs have never been, this is the first public performance of these songs. I think I told you guys last time that these are all, I just write these for my own amusement. Um, my father-in-law, uh, I went back to see my family in Michigan, and uh, my 85-year-old father-in-law said, hey, Tim, you want to play ping pong? We got a ping pong table down in the basement. And I thought, this will be cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play in ping pong in the basement. So I went down there, and he kicked my ass. <laughs> and I don't mean he just kind of kicked my ass. I mean he completely kicked my ass. And it took me about three games before I went looking around. Every shelf in the basement is covered in trophies. <laughs> Senior champion ping pong tournament 2009. Yeah, so I was a chump. Anyway, I thought 
Hey, how about a beatbox song? Uh, <laughs> I gotta, this is gonna can't go too fast. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Hope you have your power pack. Meet you right around the black. There's a green table waiting. How's about a little ping pong? Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. If you think you're better than me, we can play a game and see who's the king of ping. Who's the king of ping pong? Hear that white ball pinging on that tabletop. See those paddles swinging and the volley never stops. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Okay, you're gonna sit like this. Watching a ping pong match. Ping pong, 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 we can play a game to see who's the king of ping. Who's the prince of ping pong? 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 decided to, uh, on a certain day in November that the next couple of years are going to be very difficult for all of us and I think we're going to need some fads and diversions to uh, kind of distract us from what's really going on in the world. So since, what's the crazy fad? I mean, you know, the pet rock thing ran its course, you know, people don't streak anymore, there's all kinds of fads that have kind of come and gone. But I thought, what about, what about people driving around in their cars naked? <laughs> and we'll call it Buff Wheelin. <laughs> huh? I can take off, right? So, uh, before I wrote, I thought I would write a song, but before I figured I'd just have some experience, uh, before I can write about something, I need to know what it's like. So I actually took off my clothes and got in my 2007 Prius and I drove about 10 minutes through lights, it was nighttime. Uh, it was just me in the car. But anyway, uh, Buff Wheeler, it's my song. You know? And I, I've actually been Buff Wheeler. There'll probably be a dance, and a, a dance craze, and maybe Paul and, and uh, Dan will make a video for me, I don't know. Marjorie and Ted, Lying there in bed Teddy got this crazy look He jumped up and said Let's grab the keys and go outside Naked as we are We'll show the world we don't need to go We're driving in my car Let's go bump, bump, wheeling Bump, bump, wheeling Bump, bump, wheeling I'll see you down the road Until they were crying, Gordy was a sign. Radio blasting all the way, they made every lie. If you don't like this fact, you fill it with ridicule and scorn. Until you criminate it as the day that you were born. Let's go, Buff, Buff, Wheeling. Buff, Buff, Wheeling. Buff, Buff, Wheeling. I'll see you down the road. Now you may view my crazy fact. There's a reckless, irresponsible feeling that the way that you were born. Let's all go buff wheeling. Here we go. Let's go buff, buff wheeling. Buff, buff wheeling. Buff, buff wheeling. I'll see you down the road one more time. Buff, buff wheeling. Buff, 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 buff wheeling. Buff, buff wheeling. I'll see you down the road. 
Proud of, uh, particularly proud of. Say that three times. Proud of. Hey, I was just kidding. You don't really need to say it. Anyway, we had a dear friend uh, suddenly pass, and uh, I tried a long time to write the song, and I stopped and started and stopped and started, and uh, finally finished it in time for his birthday. What would have been his 50th birthday, which was last March. And anyway, I'm going to sing it because Paul asked me to sing it. It's a song I wrote called uh, "My Wingman." Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 